Last time in our Grand Admiral breakdowns, we covered Pakati Sin's cult membership, and today we're going to continue our breakdowns with one of the bigger political movers and shakers among the Imperial elite, Grand Admiral Rufan Tigellinus. Little is known about the early life of Tigellinus, however with how liked he was in the Imperial court, he was likely born into core nobility. At the very least, his charisma and political savvy, as noted in the Star Wars Insider magazine, was enough to ingratiate the man to his colleagues in the court and almost certainly contributed to his becoming one of the original twelve Grand Admirals two years before Yavin. He served in the Imperial Navy aboard his flagship Avatar, rooting out pirates. Most prominent of these pirates was one Reginald Barkbone, who is about as cliché as a pirate as you can get, including the essential guide to droids because Daniel Wallace just liked campy pirates. As Tigellinus' career progressed, his interest turned from the military to the more political side of things. A new captain within the Imperial military quickly gained the attention of the humanocentrist Tigellinus, a blue-skinned alien by the name of Thrawn. Tigellinus initially befriended Thrawn, but within a year of Thrawn's arrival, Tigellinus had turned the already skeptical Imperial court against him. Thrawn's banishment to the Unknown Regions, believed by Tigellinus to have been a punishment, was actually part of a grander plan between Thrawn and the Emperor, but to all outside observers it had seemed like a complete disavowal of Thrawn by the court. As time went on, Tigellinus turned even further towards the political world and away from the military, and his influence in the political sphere gained him powerful friends including Moff Willem Dizra and Alec Prado, a trusted advisor of the Emperor himself. Most of the information from this period is from the Star Wars Adventure Journal series, and I unfortunately don't have access to a lot of those, just some of the compilations, so I'm not sure just how much depth there is to the information of these periods. Regardless, Tigellinus soon became not just a Grand Admiral, but also a Grand Moff, the only person to hold two such prestigious titles, at least without granting them to himself. With Thrawn gone, the ire of Tigellinus fell towards a new political enemy outside of the military, Grand Moff Bertrif Hissa, who was himself not totally human. Tigellinus never bothered hiding his disgust with Hissa, but his alliance with Grand Moff Dizra allowed Tigellinus to keep the upper hand. After Endor, many of the Grand Moffs, including Tigellinus' rival Hissa and his ally Dizra, formed the Central Committee of Grand Moffs, operating out of Kessel to oppose other claimants to the Imperial Throne, supporting the claim of the fake son of Palpatine, Trioculus. This finally gave Hissa the opportunity he'd been waiting for to get Tigellinus out of the way, though probably hurting the committee in the long run. Hissa offered Tigellinus, who had expected to become a leader of the group, just regular membership. Dizra had advised Tigellinus to refuse this insulting offer, and as a result, Tigellinus did refuse and was executed. Fortunately for Dizra, this left his former friend's holdings available for him to absorb in their entirety. That's going to do it for today, hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, leave a like or subscribe for more. If there's another topic you'd like to see me cover in the future, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.